Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a problem on calculating a derivative where we need to apply the chain rule several times. Let's start by looking at our function and rewriting it in case you're not comfortable with the notation. So our function is expressed as cosine to the fourth power of 3x. You can rewrite this as cosine of 3x all to the fourth power. Now that might give you the clue here that you have a composite function, you have a function inside another function, but notice this inner function is itself a composite. So we'll be applying the chain rule several times here. Now to speed up the work, we're gonna use a special case for when we're differentiating a function raised to a power. I call this the general power rule. If you're not familiar with that, check out the video I have linked down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started by first identifying what the inner function is here, what the g of x is for the general power rule. And if we take a look at this written here, our inner function g of x is just cosine of 3x. Now to apply the general power rule, we just need to calculate g prime, and that's where we're gonna apply the chain rule here. And that should be fairly easy to do at this point. We're gonna start by differentiating the outer function. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative sine of the inner function, 3x. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of 3x is 3. And there we go. If you want, you can clean this up a little bit to plug in there. We can rewrite this as negative 3 times sine of 3x. And we're set to implement now the general power rule. So we start with our function here, a function raised to a power. We start, we're going to bring the power 4 down. We're going to keep the inside the same. Notice we subtract one from that power. You want to be comfortable trying to keep your notation written here in the power notation for trig functions without having to rewrite this all the time. So we start by bringing the power of 4 down, subtract 1. So we get now cosine cubed of 3x. But now we need the derivative of the inner function. That's what we calculated g prime there, which is negative 3 times sine of 3x. And that's it. You can clean this up and simplify it a little bit. Notice we're multiplying there. We can switch the order here, and we can take the 4 and negative 3, multiply them together to get negative 12. We can take our factor sine of 3x in front, and then we have our factor of cosine cubed of 3x. And that is our derivative, applying the chain rule several times here. All right, and just make sure you see it here, how we were applying it. So we first applied the chain rule using the general power rule. That was this first step here. And then we applied the chain rule again to get the derivative of the inner function, the derivative of cosine of 3x. We found that here is negative 3 times sine of 3x. So this problem was applying the chain rule twice. Hope you enjoyed the problem. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.